Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter one of our enchanting tale set in the heart of Rothenburg Obedertauber. As the winter festival approaches, the town is alive with excitement. Picture this, delicate snowflakes falling from a slate gray sky, children bundled in colorful scarves and mittens darting through cobblestone streets, their laughter ringing like bells. Adults are busy hanging twinkling lights and arranging stalls filled with spice treats. But beneath this festive scene, something peculiar is stirring, a whisper of change that only the keenest eyes can perceive. So, buckle up as we dive into this magical world where mystery and adventure await. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where curiosity leads to adventure. Meet Lena, a curious 12-year-old with wild, curly brown hair and bright green eyes that sparkle with mischief. Lena stands in the town square, gazing at the grand Christmas tree. Its branches are heavy with ornaments that tell tales of joy and sorrow. Lena senses something unusual. The decorations seem to have shifted overnight, rearranged in a way that feels deliberate, almost alive. Lena's heart is tugged by the mystery, a feeling she's grown up with, listening to her grandmother's tales of the town's history woven with threads of magic and memory. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Lena decides to gather her friends for an investigation. What could possibly be happening in this quaint town? Lena gathers her friends, Jonas, with his tousled blonde hair and skeptical blue eyes, Max, whose self-doubt often shadows his bright spirit, and Greta, the wise old woman with silver hair and kind eyes. Lena proposes an investigation, her voice a blend of excitement and determination. Jonas crosses his arms, skepticism etched on his face. It's just the wind or something. You're imagining things, Lena. But Lena's resolve only deepens. Greta leans closer, her voice a soft whisper. There are tales of an ancient spirit that watches over this town, dear children. It rearranges the decorations to reflect the town's memories, both joyful and sorrowful. The children are intrigued, their curiosity piqued. They decide to explore the narrow alleys, cloaked in a soft blanket of snow, to uncover the truth behind this mysterious spirit. As the children explore the narrow alleys, cloaked in a soft blanket of snow, they discover hidden corners where whispers of the past linger. They encounter townsfolk who dismiss their concerns, their laughter echoing like distant thunder, deepening the children's resolve. Tension simmers between Lena and Jonas, their differing beliefs creating a rift that threatens to unravel their friendship. Meanwhile, Max feels overshadowed by Lena's confidence, his internal conflict growing as he grapples with his own insecurities. Hints of the spirit's influence dance in the air, decorations shifting subtly, unnoticed by the adults but felt by the children. As they stand together, Lena turns to her friends, her voice steady. We have to uncover the truth behind this spirit. We owe it to the town and to ourselves. With a shared glance, the children vow to confront the mystery, their hearts beating in unison, setting the stage for an adventure that will intertwine their fates with the whispers of the winter spirit.